brutally honest review of the new free gate, the new Vomer helicopter, the drone and the new torpedo. Stay until the end because I will tell you if it is worth it or not. Guys, this is the new Battle Pass Worship. This is the Rox FFX Batch 3 Korean Free Gate. Okay, so this will be a complete Korean Battle Pass because everything will be Korean equipment. This Free Gate also, the helicopter that we have equipped, remember that uh, this is not uh, the original equipment of this warship, I mean only the helicopter because the rest of the equipment uh, is what we receive once we get uh, this uh, frigate. Okay, so about uh, this uh, Korean helicopter, which is the K-LA, okay, so I don't know if I'm pronouncing uh, it correctly, Look at this, we can use uh, the machine gun in order to destroy enemy strike fighters or drones. Okay, so I'm gonna try to be careful. Let me destroy that uh, drone. Okay, it's gonna be complicated now. Okay, so we have torpedoes, guys. This is something I love about helicopters. So, just uh, by the fact that we have torpedoes, I can already tell you that uh, this helicopter is totally worth it. Okay, so I'm gonna use more flares. I'm gonna try to be more careful now. I'm gonna use all the equipment. More flares. Let me go back. I need to get uh, some cover because they're going to destroy my helicopter. More flares. And then let's go back. So, about uh, this uh, warship, we have a bunch of, uh, I mean, not too much fixed equipment, only the missile, and also we have uh, seven auto cannons, guys. This is crazy, I mean, not even some of the most uh, powerful aircraft carriers of the game have so many auto cannons. So, okay, so let me destroy this Michael Monsword. This is a fixed uh, missile, by the way. And we also have the high core missile. Okay, so this is the Mark 45 cannon. We're gonna try to destroy that guy, guys. Also, we have we have two slots of torpedoes in which we can use two torpedoes per slot. Okay, so that's actually too powerful, to be honest. This is the SSM 750K Sea Dragon missile. Look at that, it is really powerful. I don't know what is special about uh, this missile. Okay, so we have Constitution right uh, there. I'm gonna use a repair kit. About the durability of this warship, I mean, it's not the best, but it is good for a frigate. I mean, it is actually more compared to the last Spanish frigate, which is around 396,000 points, if I'm not wrong. Okay, so we have CN type 100 right here. I'm gonna use uh, some missiles, the cannons, the torpedoes now. Look at that. We're going to destroy you, my friend. I need to be careful. I need to use uh, some players and now the missiles. Look at that. It seems like the missiles are not anti-flare missiles, so we must uh, be careful. I'm gonna use more players, a repair kit, the missiles, and bye-bye, my friend. Okay, so this is an offline battle, by the way. Remember that uh, since uh, this is the alpha test server, it is pretty difficult to find uh, real battles or uh, real players. So yeah, let me keep using uh, the torpedoes. So there are a bunch of different uh, builds that we could try with uh, this warship. I mean, maybe if we can equip the Akija torpedo and uh, the Mark 45 Astor nuclear torpedo. Also, we can change the cannon and uh, we can use the Monarch cannon. And bro, this would be such a cool build. And uh, remember that we can change the high core missile as well. And we will have uh, two missiles which will be really useful in order to destroy all the enemies. So, an anti-submarine missile won't uh, be necessary at all, because we have a lot of torpedoes and also with a helicopter like uh, this one, it is a nightmare for every submarine of the game. So let me use the cannon and the old equipment against uh, this uh, CN Type 004. So okay, I'm gonna use some more missiles, the cannon, we're going to destroy you, my friend, uh, with uh, this magnificent equipment. Bye-bye! Okay, so this was our first uh, victory for targets destroyed. Almost uh, 2 million damage dealt. That was so cool.
Okay, guys, so these are the stats of the warship. Okay, so we have a durability of 403,000 points, a speed of 27, almost 28 knots, a maneuvering ability of 8.5 knots, a radar range of 9.6 kilometers, and a sonar range of 3.20 kilometers. Okay, so it is pretty cool. And also, here are the stats of this uh, fixed uh, missile okay so we can cause a damage of uh, 14,000 uh, points remember that we can fire two rounds per missiles and uh, since we have two missiles right here it means that we can fire four missiles so you must uh, multiply uh, this damage by four so at uh, the end uh, just with uh, this missile you will be able to cause more than uh, 60,000 points of damage which is crazy okay so we have the high core missile the mark 45 remember that you can change all of this equipment the mark these torpedoes and here we have the stats of this helicopter okay so we have a durability of 10,000 points a speed of 75 kilometers a maneuvering ability of 52 points a radar range of 11 kilometers a sonar range of 3.20 kilometers and you already saw the equipment we have uh, missiles grenade launchers torpedoes and we can use our machine gun in order to destroy enemy helicopters strike fighters and even bombers so this is one of the coolest uh, things about uh, this uh, frigate and the it is the fact that we have seven auto cannons, guys. This is crazy. So this is the MK38 mod for auto cannon. So we can cause a damage of 78 points. And look at the speed, bro. Like it is a lot. Also the rate of fire, reload to time. Okay, so those are good stats. And it is fixed equipment, okay? So we have seven, bro. Like, I don't remember a warship with so many auto cannons, bro. Like, I'm just talking about warships, not aircraft carriers. So this will be a cool feature that will help you to cause a lot of damage and also to win battles. Okay, so we have two air defenses right here. You can equip a laser air defense, which could be the best option since you already have missiles. Okay, so we have a fixed LSAM missile system. Okay, so about the camouflage, this is the evolution camouflage. So this will be, I guess, that one of the premium or VIP rewards of this new battle pass. It is pretty cool. I mean, it's not my favorite camouflage, but it is good. Okay, so we also have two more camouflage we have uh, this uh, soaring uh, crane camouflage i like uh, this one it has a cool design and also we have the oriental camouflage i guess this will be free and available for everyone at the three stages of the battle pass okay so that's just what i guess okay guys so now we're gonna test the new bomber the new drone and also the new helicopter once again so first of all i have to tell you that this kvx bomber must be one of the best bombers of the game right now first of all because we have a missile that is not affected by the enemy flares and it is this grenade launcher which is the kggb also we have torpedoes but not only torpedoes because we have four torpedoes in this slot this is the new tiger shark korean uh, torpedoes guys this is such a crazy equipment also this uh, bomber is uh, too fast i mean it's almost uh, the same speed of the 2222 bomber it's around 133 knots the speed of this uh, thing okay so let me show you these uh, torpedoes in action okay so let me show you this the missiles and all the equipment and now okay so they are going to destroy my bomber look at that damage that's pretty cool guys okay so i'm gonna repair this and look at that and now we're gonna have the damage of the torpedoes maybe yes it seems like we did it okay guys so look at this we have a good maneuvering ability overall i like this i love it the fact that you have uh, missiles that are not affected by enemy flares and uh, torpedoes gives you a huge advantage, guys. Okay, so look at uh, the torpedoes. Pay attention to that. You will see it in a moment. 
Okay, so I almost crashed. Look at that. There are the four torpedoes. Okay, so look at the damage of the torpedoes. No way. 100,000 points only with the torpedoes, guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use the drone. Let me use this drone because apparently we have another missile that is not affected by the enemy players. Okay, so it seems like he destroyed that missile with his air defense. Okay, so look at that damage. Perfect, 108,000 points. Okay, so let me go back. We already destroyed that guy. Okay, so we have another enemy right here. I'm gonna use the helicopter. Bye bye, my friend. Look at this. With the missiles, the grenade launcher, and bye bye. Perfect. Okay, bro, like, this is such a good equipment. We are 3 versus 3 right now. Let me deploy the bomber once again. Okay, something that I forgot to tell you is that the devs added this map for all the battles. I mean, now this will be available and not as a limited time map, but it will be available forever, okay? So I love this map, and look at this, bro, like, this feels like a different uh, game, and it will be cool to have tanks right here. That will be incredible. So, yeah, let me go back to battle, and I'm gonna try to destroy some enemies right now. I need to keep using uh, this torpedo, and uh, look at that, we have the perfect target, because we have uh, an enemy submarine right uh, there, so... Look at the range of these uh, missiles! Okay, my friend, I'm going to destroy you right uh, now, I'm gonna use my torpedoes. Some flames uh, now, okay, so I need to do it again, more flames, the missiles... And we're going to destroy this enemy submarine, bro. Look at the damage of those torpedoes. This is incredible. Okay, so let me go back. I need to repair that. I'm gonna use uh, the nuclear missile and also the torpedoes because that uh, Yamato could destroy me. Also, I'm gonna use the kill switch. No, I'm gonna keep using just uh, the equipment of this new update. Okay, so I'm gonna use the drone. Okay, look at this. And can we do it? Okay, only 9,000 with one missile. No way, guys. It seems like that drone is kind of weak. So, yeah. I'm gonna use the nuclear missile. The bomber. Yes, let's go with the bomber. Now, I need to repair this thing. Now, what is my aircraft carrier? Okay, so look at that. One million damage already. And uh, yeah, we have some enemies right here. Let's go for that Yamato Aegis. My friend, we're going to destroy you right uh, now. Okay, use the torpedoes. And uh, I'm gonna repair this uh, now. No way, bro. Like, I can't uh, do it uh, now. So yeah, I'm gonna use the missiles. I'm gonna focus uh, at uh, this uh, battleship. Okay, my friend, uh, you're so dead. And uh, where is the other enemy? Okay, so we have Suikako right uh, there, bro. Like, what is that aircraft carrier trying to do? I'm gonna deploy my kill switch and now. I'm gonna try to climb a little bit. Some flares. And uh, let me use my message book. I love uh, this strike fighter. Okay, so I'm gonna try to slow down a little bit. More missiles. And uh, let's go back to my aircraft carrier. We should stop. Yes, we should uh, do it, and uh, yeah, let me select uh, the bomber, I need to repair this bomber now. Okay, can I do it? No way, bro. It is, bro, like, it is kind of difficult to repair my bomber with uh, this uh, warship. Okay, hello, my friend. Okay, I'm gonna crash. No way, bro, I avoided that. Okay, so I'm gonna use some more flares, and we're going to destroy that guy. Yes, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it, but I, I need the torpedoes, bro. With uh, the torpedoes, it could be so easy. Yo, that was uh, incredible, guys. Look at that, 1,844,000 damage dealt and the four targets destroyed. Okay, guys, so let me tell you that uh, this uh, bomber and uh, this helicopter are uh, totally worth it. Bro, these weapons are incredible and uh, so unique. This helicopter is similar to the Merlin helicopter because uh, we can use our machine gun to destroy other helicopters or strike fighters, and we have torpedoes equipped. 
plus we have a powerful grenade launcher and more missiles. About this uh, bomber, bro, the fact that you're able to fire the missiles that are not affected by the enemy players and the four torpedoes, bro, like, this is the first time that I see a weapon like this equipped in a bomber, bro. Four torpedoes and uh, this torpedo specifically, which is uh, really powerful, so you can cause around 100,000 uh, points of damage only using uh, the torpedoes of this uh, bomber. About the drone, I say it, uh, that the durability is not uh, the best, but uh, to be honest, uh, this is the normal durability of all the drones. I mean, look at this, the durability is even higher compared to the Bayraktar news uh, Turkish drone, and the look like the Mantis drone is almost uh, the same. So, we have a good speed, a good maneuvering ability, a good radar range, and uh, yeah, we have a bunch of uh, missiles, it's a good uh, drone, it's nothing special, to be honest, but the bomber and the, the helicopter are equipment that you must have. Also, we have a new interface to our battles. It seems like now you have a map selector, so you can select which maps would you like to play. So this is a cool feature, plus we will have the hidden dragon map available for our battles, so that's another cool thing. Okay guys, so now we're gonna test the new Tiger Shark torpedo. This is the same torpedo that we have equipped in the new bomber, but it seems that we're gonna be able to use it in our warships as well. So look at that, that will be our first target. Remember that warships don't have torpedo decoys, so it will be pretty easy to destroy those warships only using the torpedoes. So I'm gonna keep spamming torpedoes, I'm not gonna use the rest of the equipment, and I'm gonna use uh, this cannon to destroy that enemy bomber. <laughs> Bro, that is so cool. So let me destroy that guy, I'm gonna do it right now. Bye bye my friend. Let's use more torpedoes, maybe the grenade launcher. Bro, I need to use a repair kit uh, as up. So look at that. And bye bye my friend. With uh, the new torpedo, perfect. Okay, so let me see the damage. Okay, so we're gonna use this torpedo only. That's the UXB combatant. That is such an exclusive. Uh, bro, what is this strike fighter trying to do? Okay, so look at the damage of that. Uh, torpedoes is 78,000. Okay, so with uh, both uh, torpedoes. That's a lot of damage, to be honest. Yo, they're going to destroy me. Okay, so let's go for this guy. I'm gonna use... Uh, okay, so we have two enemies, bro. Like, I'm so dead. I should... No way, bro. Like, that's the Belgorod with uh, that uh, nuclear torpedo. I'm so dead. Okay, guys, I need to be careful now. I'm gonna use the nuclear missile, more torpedoes. Bro, like, let's get out of here immediately. I I should avoid uh, those uh, things. Okay, so I'm gonna stay here for a while because I need uh, to repair this uh, thing. Look at that, one million damage already. What is this guy doing? I'm gonna destroy you, my friend. I need to aim properly. Okay, we're gonna do it uh, this time. Not yet. I'm gonna use a repair kit. Bye bye, my friend. Okay, so we did it. Perfect. Okay, so let's go for that uh, enemy over there. UXV Combatant. What are you doing, my friend? What is the Belgorod? Okay, so we already destroyed uh, that uh, Belgorod. And I'm gonna use the torpedoes. Seems like we have an aircraft carrier behind us, but uh, that's not my priority right now. Yeah, he's right there! Okay, so they already destroyed uh, that guy. This is the last enemy, look at that. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna do it only with uh, the new torpedoes. Okay, so you'll... Okay so, you're okay, so you already saw that the damage that we can cause is 78,000 uh, points. Okay, so we can fire two torpedoes with uh, this... Uh, with uh, this warship, but uh, normally you will be able to fire only one torpedo. Okay, so it seems like my teammates are going to destroy that guy, I'm gonna try to do it by myself, but remember that I'm the king of assists, so it'll be complicated. Hello, my friend, and bye-bye. Okay, so I did it with the nuclear missile. Okay, that was cool. 
Okay, so I already checked the stats of this torpedo and uh, to be honest, I think that the Type 89 is way better compared uh, to this torpedo. Okay, so we have a damage of 39,000 uh, points, which is way higher than other torpedoes, like the F-21 Artemis torpedo. Okay, so that's a lot, uh, but it is uh, slower. But the main difference of this torpedo with others, like the Type 89, is the range. For example, the range of the Type 89 is 9 kilometers, and the range of this Tiger Shark is 13 kilometers. Okay, so that's a lot. We have one round per attack, as I told you, and yeah, we can cause a damage of 78,000. But that's just with uh, two torpedoes, because the real damage is uh, 39,000 uh, points. Remember that uh, all of this equipment is fully upgraded. 